Okay, this video is going to show you how to search opposing viewpoints in context. Um, so of course it's a database, so on the library homepage we're going to start by clicking articles and databases. And on the login page, your borrower ID is always your student ID number. So go ahead and type that in. And then uh, the pin and password, uh, pin or password, is always your last four digits of your social security number. So once you type login, you're going to see the subject listing. And we know exactly where we're going today. So I just want to point out that if you know exactly where you're going, you can always hit that alphabetical button up at the top like I did. And it'll give you the long list of databases. So in our case, we can scroll all the way down to the O's. And then bingo, there's opposing viewpoints in context. So if you know exactly what you're looking for, um, this is a pretty quick way to find it. If you don't know what you're looking for, um, you might want to stick to the subjects. And um, opposing viewpoints is in a couple of these subject breakouts, but the easiest place to find it is under the general heading. And general databases just uh, do a little bit of everything. They cover a wide variety of topics. And if you're not sure what they do, you can always click the blue eye, and what that's going to do is open up a summary like we see here that tells you a little bit about what the database does. And You'll notice that in the general category and every category, each one of these databases has a blue eye. So that's a helpful tip to remember. Um, that'll help narrow down um, which database to choose. So we're going to choose opposing viewpoints. We're just going to click on it, um, and then we'll click again to connect to the database. And you'll see right off the bat, visually, it's a little bit different. It looks more like a website than a traditional database, um, which looks more like a search engine. Um, and Opposing Viewpoints, what it does is it covers hot topic issues. Um, if you've seen it on the news in the last 25 years, there's probably a full report um, about the topic in Opposing Viewpoints. Uh, anything anybody can have an opinion on that's topical. And that's what they do here on their landing page. They've brought together a bunch of their hot topic pages. But um, you don't just have to rely on, on their landing page. You can come up here to the right and search. So we'll do a topic that comes up all the time um, at the reference desk on the Lee campus anyway, uh, medical marijuana. Uh, so say you have a speech or a paper and, and you're, um, you're writing about medical marijuana and you need to get some opinions. You could certainly type it in and you could hit search. Um, but what that's going to do is just bring up a bunch of articles. So a better way to search opposing viewpoints is to click this Browse Issues button in the upper left-hand corner. I always start here and you'll see, um, just as a side note, how many topics that opposing viewpoints covers. Uh, every one of these links, and you can see as I just keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, they have dozens of them, maybe hundreds of them. Um, every one of these has a full report, uh, equal in scope to the one I'm about to show you. Um, and I know just from experience that medical marijuana is already in here. So what we'll do is we'll scroll up to the M's um, and zoom in here a bit. And there's a, a whole report on medical marijuana. So if we can just click it. And why you want to come in here first and see if you can find your topic is, is because it looks like this. When you come in through the Browse Issues tab, you're going to get this full report. So everything listed in this um, table of contents up here is, is in here. So you've got this um, initial article that just tells you about medical marijuana. And then you've got um, all these categories. So first you've got the viewpoint essays. Those are going to be um, opposing viewpoints, bread and butter. They're going to be um, the opinion articles, heavily opinionated. Um, underneath them, you've got academic journal articles right here. You've got some statistical reports on, on um, this report for medical marijuana. You've got news articles, which are like newspapers. Um, reference materials, kind of encyclopedia-style sources. Uh, magazines, websites, all kinds of things. And if you'll notice as we've been scrolling down here to the right, there's audio files, images, maps, uh, video files if available, um, all kinds of stuff. Um, and you'll notice that each category has, has many different um, articles in them. So um, I'm going to go ahead and open up this general one up at the top. And, and again, the first article always just gives you an objective overview. What are we talking about when we talk about medical marijuana? So that's what we opened. And I just want to show you there's a tools menu here. So you can download these. You can email them to yourself. You can save them. You can print them. Um, you are able to uh, generate a citation in Opposing Viewpoints. If you click on Citation Tools, uh, what it's going to do is pop up a little window, and as long as you're doing MLA or APA, you can tell it which one you're doing and hit download, and it'll create a citation for you for this article. So you can just copy and paste it into your um, your works cited or your references page, depending on what you're doing. Um, so opposing viewpoints is really comprehensive, and again. Um, when you come in through the Browse Issues tab, you get this nice full-blown report. Um, if you don't come in through the Browse Issues tab, a lot of times what they're going to do is just return a, a, a long list of articles. It's not going to be as neatly organized or broken into categories like we see here. Um, you can always tell if you don't just want to come to the Browse Issues and, and scroll, you can come up here. And you might have noticed before when I typed in medical marijuana, um, if I just hit search, it's going to bring up a hodgepodge of articles. But you'll notice that the very first hit there kind of has it bold and italics. Um, if you see a result like that, that means they have a report on your topic. So if we click on that um, 
that link that's sort of um, highlighted for us there in bold and italics, it's going to be a quick jump right to the to the issue page. So um, that's a little shortcut uh, if you want to just try to to type your topic on the on the home page too. So um, opposing viewpoints couldn't be simpler to use. That's basically all there is to it. Again, you can click browse issues in the upper left hand corner and see the big long list. Um, and as I scroll down here, if you read over some of these topics. Um, anything you could possibly want to give a speech on. If you have to write an argumentative essay where you have to take a side, um, Opposing Viewpoints is your database.